So when they see uh, somebody who's mastered the piano and he gets up and plays some extraordinary piece by Rachmaninoff or Beethoven, they all stand up and they clap and clap to say, what an extraordinary thing you've just done before our eyes. How extraordinary. That's what they feel like doing because it's so amazing. <coughs> and yet, we're in this incredible existence, this amazing creation. <coughs> Stars in the heavens, galaxies. We've got Hubble telescopes that look at the far corners of the universe. The massive expansiveness. We have flowers that bloom before our eyes. We, we can watch flowers that move across as the sun moves across the sky. The flowers follow the sun. The Arabs call them Ubad the Shams. We have animals that can do the most extraordinary things. Elephants that can carry extraordinary weight on their backs, but ants even, even more extraordinary that can carry many times their own weight. All of these things happening before us. We have women right now in this room. There's a fetus, a baby developing in their wombs. Mitotic cell division at rapid rates. All of these things are happening everywhere. And we don't feel compelled to give God a standing ovation. <laughs> to stand up before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Really to stand in ovation before our Lord. Like people stand before some poor soul who's perfected some little trick on a musical instrument who can pipe a tune out and we're compelled to jump up and clap and say bravo, bravo and we can't get up for the Lord of the worlds and say Allahu Akbar ma harraka bi rabbik al kareem what has deluded you? what has deluded you? what has taken you away from the praise of your Lord? this is what Muslims are meant to remind people to do wherever they go to tell people